It's time! And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground. Tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he well, can he do. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Kamaru Usman. About the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy. Oh. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. He's got to go take that finish down now. Back to the feet. Great punch. So just over 20 total strikes. All right, and this might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level of grappling can really be entertaining. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Usman gets the takedown, useful. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Kamaru. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. 
he's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Just over three minutes to go now. Bleeding from his cheek now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Usman's back to the side control now. Let's go. Under two minutes now to go in round two. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Fine old minute. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, wow, that happens quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Beautiful, beautiful. Everything is going beautifully. Your wrestling is too good for him. He can't stop you. You're going to go out there and keep all right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch it. Chess, go to the he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. That'll do it! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight.
All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. A two minutes, 50 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ufa. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.